So Parkinson's is mostly developed in people over age sixty. So it is definitely related to aging. I don't think there's concrete research about why, when people age, the substantia nigra area reduce the dopamine production, and sometimes they think it may be also related to autoimmune conditions that destroys the cells in the brain producing dopamine. That's why eventually people get into seventies, eighties. Develop Parkinson's. That is the real cause of Parkinson's. Then, the stem cell treatment has very good advantage over other treatment because when you have inflammation causing the area of the brain that doesn't produce enough dopamine, you use the stem cell treatment to reduce the inflammation in the area so that you don't have further decline in the dopamine production, and also at the same time, the stem cells can, you know, stimulate your own body stem cell to produce some more cells that can create more dopamine, so that you don't have the decline faster to get more progressive. Parkinson's actually is one of the leading. Clinical research, even in the U.S., using stem cell treatment. I have got to know people who have gone through clinical trials in Houston using stem cells for Parkinson's. But unfortunately, in the U.S., when they do the stem cell clinical trial for Parkinson's, they only do it for a short period of time, so they don't have long-term study showing the benefit of using stem cells. And also, sometimes again, they are restricted by the availability of the stem cells because they don't have a lot of lab expended umbilical cord stem cells to be used in the clinical trials. I know a person; he actually did the stem cell clinical trial in Houston, and he only got seventy-five million cells. In intravenous infusion, maybe twice in the period of two years, but he didn't notice significant improvement in his symptoms. But then after that, he contacted me about、uh, using stem cell for his treatment because his neurologist even suggests, you know, we don't have anything else to do for you, so why don't you go try the stem cell again? So we used. Lab expanded umbilical cord stem cells in much bigger quantities, which is 150 million, twice the amount he could get in the U.S. in the clinical trial for the IV infusion, and did three infusions in the six months period. So that creates significant clinical effects in his、um, motion. So that's. The difference between using the clinical trial in the U.S. versus doing the stem cell treatment that are available outside of the U.S. and his symptoms significantly improved after three treatments.